Every night in my dreams I play HQ I win HQ Racking up fat stacks by the boatload Far across the quistons And questions between us I've come to get this show on the road. Remix! All aboard, HQDs! It is time for the maiden voyage of Titanic Trivia Night. I'll never let go. I promise. I promise you a fun one tonight. This is your captain speaking, Scott Rogowski, live from the North Atlantic, holding on for dear life. Guiding the RMS HQ through 12 icy questions all about the best picture of 1997. Did you brush up on this classic? I know Kristen and Kate did. So did Vicky, Alyssa, Kathy Taylor, Louisa Rose, and also happy birthday to Megan's husband, Bo, and Aeneas Ninja. I like that name. If you can successfully navigate these waters tonight, you'll be richly rewarded with a share of a cash prize, which is 5,000 DiCaprio's, 5,000 distress signals, $5,000. You could book passage on a four-night carnival cruise to Cozumel with that money and have enough left over to cure your norovirus. Hope you have a life vest, AKA an extra life at hand. Jack could have used one of those if only in-app purchasing existed in his time. If you're not living a first-class lifestyle and you can't shell out, have no fear. You can play five days in a row or refer your friends to earn an extra life for free. Yeah. Now, maybe Titanic's not your thing. Well, you'll be happy to hear about Wednesday night show. Shake it off, baby, because we're getting swifty, kids, with Taylor Swift trivia, 9 p.m. Wednesday evening. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Tay-Tay in the house Wednesday, and we're following that up on Thursday night. Staying golden with Dorothy, Blanche, Sophia, and your other favorite rose, Golden Girls Trivia Thursday. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for referring a friend. Hey, you know, roughly 32% of the people aboard the Titanic survived that disaster. Methinks far fewer of you will make it out of tonight's game alive. Will you sink or swim? Will you be crowned king of the quiz? Yeah, maybe. Promise me you'll survive savage questions that you won't give up no matter what happens, no matter how hopeless. Put on your rose-colored glasses. It is time to see if you do, in fact, know Jack. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty. With over 380,000 alive in this game right now, Let's get this show on the road. Kimuro, numero uno. Which of these is a hit song from the Titanic soundtrack? I'm on a boat, my heart will go on, or drop it like it's hot. Oh, Celine still sings this during her Vegas show, I can confirm, and she kills it every time. Near, far, wherever you are. You should know this one, it's my heart will go on. Come on, I'm on a boat, that's, that's the lonely island. 341,000. And 67 will go on to Q2 tonight. No more levels, no more points. The season's over. They're coming back, though, next season. Maybe. Q2. Who played Cal? Rose's fiance. Billy Eichner, Billy Zane, or Billy McFarlane? Calden Hockley, a.k.a. Cuckoo Cal, a.k.a. Cal the Cad, an even bigger villain than the iceberg somehow, was played to posh perfection by none other than a wig-wearing Billy Zane. <laughs> Listen to your friend Billy Zane. He's a cool dude. He's trying to help you out. Oh, a lot of you don't remember the Z-Man. 100,000 out at Q2, but 238, 197. Swimming on to Q3. What does the name of the French Le Cœur de la Mer mean in English? Queen of my life, king of the world, or heart of the ocean? Good gracious. Is it a diamond? Yes. 56 carats to be exact. It was worn by Louis XVI, and they called it heart of the ocean. Yes. It's overwhelming. Well, it's for royalty. <laughs> Part of the ocean, la cœur de la mer. On 210,370, you are royalty. The rest of you tossed into the ocean where you belong. By the way, that, that necklace at the end of the movie, deleted scene, it was swallowed by a sea turtle. So another casualty of the Titanic, that turtle. Q4, Rose impresses Jack at the real party by downing what beverage? Beer, champagne, or whiskey. Rose clearly knows how to party. Showing off her fancy feet below deck. 
even going on point at one point. For her, the Titanic may as well have been a booze cruise with all the beer she cleared. What? You think a first class girl can't drink? Yeah, first class girls can drink. Rose knew how to bend the elbow there. Beer is your answer here. 114,800 are chugging along and glugging, quaffing Q5 tonight. What does Rose say right before she and Jack share their first smooch? Whee! I'm flying, Jack, or I trust you. Deservedly regarded as one of the best on-screen kisses of all time, this is, of course, the famous moment at the bow of the ship where Rose feels like she's flying. I'm flying! And then she states the obvious. I'm flying, Jack. 52,423 are flying away, oh glory. You're flying on, but ooh, look at that. We lost about 70,000. Ouchie, wowie. Brutal, Q5. On to Q6 we go. What hand does Jack have in his ticket-winning poker game? A full house, a royal flush, or queen of hearts? We're talking about the fateful game where we're introduced to Jack, who bets all of his and Fabrizio's money. Luckily, he is not bluffing. Take a look. I'm sorry, Fabrizio. Get sorry, ma vaffanculo, do you bet all I'm sorry, you're not gonna see your mom again for a long time. Cause we're going to America. Full house, boys! No! <laughs> everywhere you look, everywhere you go. I go to America! Full house is the answer there. Spaghetti! Fabrizio, a very nuanced portrayal of an Italian American. Well, I guess he's fully Italian at that point. 39,366. Got this one right. The rest of you got nothing and nothing to lose, unless you have an extra life. Q7, the band member who convinces the rest to play as the ship sinks plays what instrument? A violin, cello, or clarinet? It's, of course, the onboard orchestra playing music to drown by. Now that's first class all the way, baby. In a movie full of heart-tugging moments, the scene where the musicians choose to keep playing is right up there. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's been a privilege to play with you tonight. 35,975, remember that? Brutally sad scene there. 35,975, the rest of you, I have the world's smallest violin playing the world's saddest song for you. Q8, Jack and Rose share a steamy kiss in the car after overcoming what obstacle? Jack's handcuffs, Cal's bodyguard chase, or the first iceberg collision? Hmm, there is something quite spectacular and erotic about evading your fiance's evil bodyguard, giving him the finger, I'm not gonna do it, and running through the boiler room that results in an all-time great smooch. And a bit more. Jack and Rose joining the steam team after they avoided Cal's bodyguard, Lovejoy. Ah, 30,805, feeling the love, got the joy. Happy, happy joy, joy, you're getting Q9. What does Rose say to Jack after he asks why she jumps from the first lifeboat? Not without you. You jump, I jump, right? I couldn't do it. Oh, another sad one. Rose knows that if she gets on that boat, there's no way Cal's gonna help Jack meet her in New York. She refuses to leave her love behind. It's, it's so beautiful. You jump, I jump, right? The Jack Dad'll make you jump, jump. A Daddy Jack'll make you jump, jump. A 22,143, go ahead and jump, jump. You're a bird, I'm a bird. And you're jumping into Q. 10 right now. What does Jack eat while he explains his life to the first class passengers at dinner? Caviar, lobster, or bread? The real man makes his own luck. Billy Zane, Titanic. But more importantly, a real man rips hunks off a dinner roll and talks with his mouth open. I mean, I love waking up in the morning not knowing what's gonna happen or who I'm gonna meet. Yeah, Jack take, taking a bite of that roll like he's taking a bite of an apple. I don't think I've ever seen anybody eat Quite like that. 18,104. Got air in their lungs, a few blank sheets of paper, and two questions to go to win this Titanic trivia night. 
Q11, which of these men convinces the captain to light the last four boilers? Mr. Ismay, Mr. Andrews, or Mr. Murdoch? The maiden voyage of Titanic must make headlines. This guy was chairman of White Star Lines who talked up the retiring Captain Smith to increase the ship's speed and arrive early after the collision. Well, remember what the captain said to him? I believe you get your headlines, Mr. Ismay. You may get those headlines indeed. Mr. J. Bruce Ismay, 9,107 got that right. Fun fact about J. Bruce Ismay, a real person, of course. A lot of those people in the movie were real. He was not liked when he arrived in New York. They called him J. Brute Ismay, the papers did. 9,107, well, I'm liking you right now and you're liking me because together we've survived this collision, this iceberg. So far, no icebergs in sight. We're down to Q12. Where to, miss? Perhaps to the winner's circle. If you get this question right, it all boils down to this. The final question. The Titanic question of this Titanic quiz. In the final scene of Titanic, what is Jack wearing when Rose dreams of seeing him at the top of the stairs? Suspenders, a tuxedo, or his stolen jacket? After living a full, independent, adventurous life just as Jack wanted her to, Rose goes to sleep, dreaming of her first true love meeting him at the top of the Titanic stairs where he's kitted out in classic Jack fashion. Suspend your disbelief. Suspenders is the answer. 6,843. You are our Titanic winners, baby. You're the king of the queens. Nearly 400,000 of you boarded this quiz tonight. 6,843 survived this journey. Yes, a far lower percentage than those who actually survived the Titanic. Congratulations to all of you. The Carpathia is coming to pick you up. 73 cents is going in your pocketbook or wallet. Brian and something, Johnny something, Mr. Pineapple, light me up. Rock Soup, El Ella Cray, Scrappy07. Amel and W. Would it be amazing if Mr. Ismay, someone's avatar was Mr. Ismay and they also survived this quiz tonight? That would have been truly titanic in proportions. But I think it was fun overall. In fact, everybody called this the quiz of dreams. It really was. If you drowned out of tonight's HQ trivia, there's a rescue boat coming for you in the form of HQ words. Coming at you at 9.30 with Anna Royce to 5 9 min. And more trivia is coming your way every night at 9 p.m. Taylor Swift on Wednesday, Golden Goyles on Thursday. Better late than pregnant. Until I see you again, I've been Scott Rogowski, and I will be signing off tonight saying, promise me you'll never let go. Never let go. Never let go.